if it's boosted some. All right, hey y'all, this is user Nightworm 360, and the game is Raid Shadow Legends. Um, we are gonna go into uh, two things. First things first, I know I had a uh, if you are just coming into Raid Shadow Legends for like a couple of days now, if you uh get on every day for seven days, it's gonna be leading you to getting a new monster. Or a new hero. Uh, I'm not sure if I ended up making to all the days to get the new hero. I have to go over to the summon ring and see if I got them. Then, of course, uh, Forge Pass is back for the next three weeks. And I'm just trying to get to see what happens when you reach the 90. And I haven't been really doing any of these forge pass things because it's a lot of uh, requirements to do. And then there was the free gift for the uh, anniversary that's going on also for uh, Raid Shadow Legends. I wonder does that, oh, I bet that five point chicken, I mean, I can uh, actually end up turning a champion into a, 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 but, hold on, let's see if, uh, If I had ended up getting that hero, let me go on and check my champions. Let's see, did I get them? Or did I miss it? Oh, yeah, there they are. Delana was the uh, monster uh, legendary that you will get at the end of the seven days. So, eventually, I had to put that in dungeons to do some summoning. I like that. Ooh, damn. Make me want to cosplay. <laughs> I need to quit, though. Let's go on and take a... Let's see. We got pretty much a four point... Over four point rating. And... Set life. And set defense for recommendations. Only got one tone. Let's see. Okay. I could at least do one at send. And I got on and used the upgrade book. Let's see what we got. Level 1 Heart Stealer attacks all enemies. Have 50% chance of placing Leech debuff for 2 turns. Uh, Withering Scorn Level 1 attacks 1 enemy. Has 75% chance of placing a 50% Decrease res debuff for two turns. If the target is under block buff, debuff also applies debuff spread. 
affects takes any decreased res debuff on target and places on all enemies. Damage is based on HP. Then know your place level two, which that's the one I just attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing block buffs. Debuff on each enemy for two turns. Heals all allies for five percent of their max HP. Block buffs. Debuffs placed on the skill. Fills this champion's turn meter by ten percent with each block buff debuff attempt. Block or resisted by enemy team. Based on HP. Magnificent. Uh, level one passive effect. Uh, increase this champion's accuracy by two. Every 1,000 HP this champion has. Active effect. Places 25% strength buff on all allies for two turns. Every time this champion HP drops below 50. So. Alright, but that's Delana. If you are playing Raid Shadow Legends and you uh, make sure you log on for the next seven days, that is the new character they got going on. Um, so, we gonna get into it. Uh, we do have a boosted summoning going on. So, I will go on and summon a few things first, and we'll do it in two parts. Uh, let's go on and do this Void Shard first, see what we get. Hmm. Alright, Gear Grinder, level 1. Organ Tribe. Uh, Gears of Gore, level 1. Attacks 1 enemies, placing a 7.5 continuous heal buff on this champion for 1 attack if the attack is critical. Uh, level Healing Spatter, level 1. Heals all allies by 15% of their max HP. Uh, Necro Cogs, level 1. Revives a dead ally with 50% of 50% turn meter. Ooh. Yeah, if that unlocks at Ascension level 3, so you might want to put that one in probably your arena team once you get it worked up. In Aurora, uh, ally HP and fraction crypts by 25%. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. We'll do a couple of these. I'll probably do five of these just for the heal of it. Or... Well, I could have gone on. Do I have enough room to do that? No, I do not have enough room to do the 10. So, let's go on and be making some room here. Alright, I made some room by feel, feeding some to uh, uh, our new champion. And I'm going to go on and do this summoning. <laughs> and let's see what we get. But it's the time 10. Okay, got an Anthonel, Sentinel, Force Goon, Heal. Alright. I know I had Matidius and Thurgust, Conqueror, Anthonel, but it's a couple of others I don't know. Ooh, I got a purple. Adriel, I got an epic. Nice. On last ride. Uh, Adriel, humiliate. Level 1. Attacks 1 enemies. Has 20% chance of placing a 50% decrease accurate debuff for 2 turns. Uh, Curtain of Light. Level 1. Heals all enemies allies by 20% of their max HP. Ascended skill 3 heals all allies by 20% of their max HP and places a buff of 30%. Reflect damage buff on them for 2 turns. And then attacks all enemies has a 50% chance of placing decrease attack debuff on 2 turns. Has a 100% chance if this attack is critical. 
and then uh, Aurora, magic, ally, speed, and all battles, 21%. Alrighty, nice, nice. Nice. Nice, nice. And then apparently I completed a quest. I really haven't been doing those. I need to start doing those a little bit more. But let's see. Can I go back and uh, take a look at some of them other ones I summoned? It was one or two of them I seen on there that uh, I never actually got before. So I'm trying to see if I can find at least those two. Because I wouldn't sure on them too let's see what we got oh okay i remember that one it was one particular one that i saw that i had my eye on oh okay here it is that was he or nomad that was one of them let's see Let's see. Sandstorm blade level one attacks one enemy. Nomad's endurance level one places a seven form side. Continuous heal buff on any ally for two turns. Ant Man Bush Tactics level one places a veil buff on ally for one turn and increases uh, attack buff for two turns. Also places a shield buff on this champion equal to 20% of their max HP. All right. The other ones I kind of already have or may have went over, but uh, I save up again for another real summon and we'll see what we do the next time. But uh, I will be back with uh, more on Raid Shadow Legends. As uh, soon as I see what else they have going on as far as updates coming soon so we'll see what they got this is user nightworm 360 and the game is raid shadow legends if there's anything in this game you would like me to go over or you haven't seen please let me know and i will uh go over it and see if i got access to it again um my clan <laughs> Uh, YWS 1397. I'm looking for 10 people so we can try clan versus clan and see what it does if it's worth pursuing. <laughs> Casual play. <laughs> Much appreciated. Again, this is Nightworm 360 Game Raid Shadow Legends. I will catch y'all later.